Eric Fisher here. Welcome to Style with Knowledge. I'm a Prosper U Styles. I'm going to show you a really great little updo on Breeze hair. Actually, this isn't really an updo. It's half up, half down. Now you can see that we have prepped her hair by curling it. Prep is really important with a style like this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is separate this from the crown to the ears, and then we're going to back comb the crown and braid the front. All right, before we do the crown, I, I like to brush the hair out a little bit. Now, you don't have to do this a lot, and you could use your fingers. Sometimes I use just a jumbo comb. These jumbo combs are great. So all I want to do is just separate that curl out a little bit and just break through it, and just to make sure that it's still loose, but it's, it's separated a little bit more than it was. And when I curled Bree's hair, I also used a little hairspray just to give it a little gut. So, all right, now we're gonna section the crown out. And because Brie has a lot of short pieces here, we wanna make sure we go back far enough. So I'm just taking this section right back behind the ear, make sure we get enough of that hair in the front. And let's just take a clip and just clip that out of the way. Let's do the other side. And we're gonna do the same thing. Here's our section. We just wanna go right back behind the ear and clip that out of the way. Now we are ready to back comb the crown hair. And we want some height, but we don't want it too perfect. So working about maybe two inches down on the crown, maybe one more section right in the center. Now let's take just a light little spray and spray this just so we can build up again a little bit more texture. Keep the spray a fairly good distance away and make sure it looks absolutely perfect. If there's any back combing showing, you kind of want to get rid of the back combing and so far so good. And pin this in the back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start right in the center. Now you back comb for fullness, but you also back comb for grit. So when I pull this hair over, I can stick the pins in and the pins are just going to lock into that back combing just like that. And again, you can can always pull this up. You just want to keep this random, soft. You don't want this too perfect. There are times when you want really smooth, perfect hair, and there are times when you want things just a little bit more organic and a little bit more natural. So now let's take a look at what we have here. Separate this out. Let's look at our sides. And we've got a good amount of height there. I like that, but I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna pull this out just a little bit more. So I've got a little bit more height and you can see it's, again, it's uneven. It's organic looking, just the way that we want it. All right, now, just a little bit of spray. Get it where you want it. So far, so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the right side, and we're just gonna braid that. And when I do this, again, we have lots of little short pieces here, so some of these are just gonna stick out, which is, which is just fine. Now, I'm not gonna do a lot of brushing through this or combing. I want it to be a little bit more organic and natural looking. There's my first braid. Pick up a section from the front, braid over, pick up a section from the back. Typical French braid, all towards the back area. And I know some of these ends might poke themselves through, and I think that's okay too, because it just makes it look that much more organic looking. And now we have run out of hair, so all we're gonna do is continue that braid right into the back. We're just gonna lightly go through and pancake that. And if you do it too much, you're gonna pull those ends out, so you wanna be kind of cautious about that. Now, I wanna make sure that this does not fall. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna lift that up a little bit, and I'm just gonna put some pins in just to make sure that it's nice and secure. All right, now we're ready to do the other side. So once again, let's start with our braiding, and we're just gonna grab the hair right up at the top. Start with a French braid, grab it in the middle section, and just rotate your fingers around, and then all we're gonna do is add to the outside, and braiding right the way around till we run out of hair. Here we are, and again, I'm just gonna braid this right around until I reach the back. You can see these ends are a little layered back here. So let's go ahead and pancake this just really lightly and just pull it apart ever so lightly. Not too much, again, you've got layered ends here. You don't want it to fall apart on you. I'm gonna pull this around and I'm just gonna set this right here. So we're just, uh, just in about the same spot as we did the other side. So let's take our bobby pins and once again, let's just put them in vertically and make sure that you've double pinned everything and nothing's gonna fall apart. Okay, now we finished the left side. Let's go over and start working on the back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take sections of hair and we're gonna pin them into the braid. What we wanna do is just go in and pick up a section of hair like this. Now, I'm gonna take the bobby pin, I'm gonna place the bobby pin right on the hair just like this. And then with my left hand, I'm just gonna twist it around and then all I'm gonna do is stick it right in 
to that braid. And you can see it just lifts everything up a little bit. You can do as many of these or as few of these as you like. And that's one of the reasons why pre-curling is so important. So you get that nice spiral shaped curl. And you don't want, uh, you know, you don't want a big blocky curl, you want a spiral shaped curl. Now that we've pinned the back, we just need to finish it up and make sure everything looks absolutely perfect. All right, so we finished pinning the back. I think this looks great. Now we just want to fine tune everything. Take the time to really complete the design. Use your mirror, lift those sections up, and just look at the balance. Spray lightly, and let's lift this up and just spray inside the hair a little bit. So again, you're just going to you know, really work those sections, make sure that that's looking all very, very nice. So I really like the way she looks right now, but I think that a little hair jewelry would be pretty fantastic too. And I just have some nice, easy little pins with some little decorations on them. And this is your choice, how much or how little you wanna do. I like these, I like a little hair jewelry. I think it always looks good. Just looks kind of romantic. It's not a super big deal. And I think we're just about ready to let Brie go out to her evening occasion. We started off by curling the hair prep is really important and when we curled the hair again we did cable curls with the curling iron pointing towards the back because we don't want big lumpy hair right so everything moving towards the back we back combed the crown after we separated it out and just pull it forward but we back combed it very organically so instead of being really smooth it's a bit more textured we simply braided the right side right into the back and then we braided the left side right into the back and then we just took with our little technique, we just pulled up random hairs and we just pulled them up and pinned them into the braided area just to give it a little bit more height and a little bit more fullness. Well, there you have it. I think Brie looks amazing. I appreciate you watching. I will see you soon. Thank you.